All right, guys, Levi Trumbull reporting outside of the Frederick County Courthouse. I was here today to witness State of Maryland versus Gailani Yilmaz. You will remember, this is the individual that punched a Jewish protester in the face, knocked him unconscious, then went about breaking activist Sean Porter's phone. Now, you will remember we brought you that story and we brought you the fact that he was charged with second degree assault and with malicious destruction of property as it related to the damage of Sean Porter's phone. So in any event, we were here today for what was going to be Galani Yilmaz's plea hearing. However, there was a sidebar with the state and with defense counsel, and we couldn't hear everything that was said, but seemingly, this prior arranged plea agreement, which was going to be very much in Galani's favor, seemingly fell apart right before our very eyes. Now again, we could not hear everything that was said, but seemingly Galani's plea, plea bargain, which was a very sweetheart deal, if you will, and John Porter will get into it in a moment, but seemingly the plea fell apart today. So now I turn to you, Sean. And we'll, Sam is actually standing over here, uh, and we'll ask him a question in just one moment. He's feeling a little bit under the weather. We're not quite sure what he has. But back to you. So based on what you witnessed today, what's your instant reaction to what you just saw inside that courthouse, State of Maryland versus Delaney Yilmaz? Well, thank God the heroic Terry Myers visiting judge. He used to be a Washington County District Court judge. I actually argued a peace order case. Uh, in front of Terry Myers against uh, a client of Mary Drawbaugh's back in 2019 uh, before he had retired and now he's a visiting judge. He just travels around filling in. I actually watched him run the morning docket last Wednesday. He's a very fair judge and as soon as he found out that there was going to be a null cross for my de uh, malicious destruction of property without restitution yes, and there was no restitution for a guy that was sent by ambulance to the hospital with a chipped tooth, nerve damage to his right arm, and a concussion as well as memory loss the, there was no way in hell that deal was going through and he properly did you know what any reasonable judge would do and he absolutely threw that deal out and so they're like what do you want to do jury trial and um you heard that i heard them i, jury see, I trial, didn't hear that and um they didn't want to do a jury trial so what they did is they agreed to continue the case and try and work it out what's and that about what, what they're trying to they're trying to wait out the judge. They know Terry Myers has an unfavorable view of the deal, but they're thinking Judge Dino Flores may have a different view. And I don't think that to be the case at all. Knowing the judges here, I don't think that's going to fly. Um, I will let you know that last week I filed a complaint with Charlie Smith's office, and I wanted um, Pat Flynn, the assistant state's attorney, that made that ridiculous deal. I wanted him reassigned, and the reason I cited was uh, legal malpractice. Interesting. So what did you hear? Evidently, you heard more than me. You heard the words jury trial. And the word sh like three times. You did. They were cussing. It was great. There is no way in hell Terry Myers was falling for, for that uh, prosecutor's now, favorable deal. You were considering filing civilly against Galani Yilmaz. I'm is going to. Happen? If I don't get restitution, I'm suing civilly. Okay. Are you going to wait till this situation gets resolved first? Yes, I'm going to wait until the criminal matter is disposed of. And if I don't get restitution for exactly what he owes me, that is when I have standing to go ahead and, and sue him. I could sue him out now, but while there's a criminal case going on, you just you let them try and get you your restitution for you if possible. If not, you sue him civilly. Right. So I'm going to turn to Sam real quick, and I'll come back to you. So here's my question for Sam, and I'll, I'll walk a little bit over towards him. I'm unafraid. Uh... So, Sam, you were expecting today to get up, take the stand, and give a victim impact statement. However, the whole situation today, that plea, seemingly fell apart. How do you feel? I feel that it's a, it's a positive development. I mean, I, I feel that, um, that uh, I was really fighting an uphill battle with the, uh, with the uh, victim impact statement. But I think, I think we're back in, in good territory. What do, you think, what do you think about the state attorney, Pat Flynn? How do you think he handled this whole situation? I don't know. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You know, I mean, everyone feels that they probably didn't get justice, you know, no matter what. 
yeah. uh, from a personal point of view. I didn't feel it was right. Um, but. Are you prepared to testify? 100%. Yeah? I'm here. You're here. All right. So uh, my question for you, Sean, and we'll close this out with this. What is your prediction as to what happens next? This matter is probably going to go before Dino Flores, most likely. What do you think happens next here? In State of Maryland versus Neil Maddox? Well, I think what's going to happen is, is the continuance is going to result in a new plea that includes restitution for the victim. Um, and they're going to try and sell that. They're going to try and work it a little bit harder. Um, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm hoping that the case is reassigned. I just left the state's attorney's office where I petitioned to have ASA uh, Pat Flynn removed from the case. And quite frankly, I don't have a high opinion of it. Yeah, evidently. And, uh, you know, he would always be willing to tell me the decisions that went on behind the scenes as to how he came up with this plea deal that was supposedly supposed to go down today, but flopped and fell apart. Uh, when the merits of that whole situation were tried before this acting judge before the uh, district court today. So with that, guys, if we have any updates when uh, we have developments on this situation, we will bring them to you as they develop as it relates to State of Maryland versus Galani Yilmaz, where he is charged with second-degree assault as it relates to punching Sam Rosenblum during a protest and then subsequent to that smashing... Uh, the cell phone of Sean Porter and then also being charged with malicious destruction of property. So with that guys, we'll keep you updated and we'll catch you soon.